Welcome back, everybody. Welcome if you are new. Today, we're in the late model series here at North Wilkesboro. These guys are very quick. We're car number three out of, like, it looks 15 cars in this field. So, uh, I, fast as I've ran is, like, a low three so far. So, this should be interesting. There's a lot of really, really fast guys here. So, we're just going to do the best we can. Hopefully, I can hit, like, that low three. Maybe get into the twos somehow. That would be great. But these cars are really, really loose. Like, going in too hard to a corner or trying to come off turn four for me. Fly, turn two fly, is not that bad, fly. but... Going into okay, the corners if you overshoot it. And coming off turn four. Trying to get this thing rotated for the corner. I don't even know where I should run in one and two, to be honest. Three and four, I kind of go in a little high and try to get a, a nice straight shot off the bottom. That's where it gets loose at. <laughs> trying to keep it somewhat straight there. 366, I'm not mad about that. I'm honestly not mad about that. Could have had a low three if I wouldn't have gotten loose off the corner. I tried to straighten out the wheel early because I know it's going to get loose. That was a better exit, but I don't think we had a good enough one and two. Ran 402, so honestly not that terrible second lap either. So, so far we're fifth. Hopefully we could stay around there. If we can get a top five in this race, I'd be really happy with that because it gets very loose and a lot of people have not qualified. But let me go back to that first lap where I was coming off turn four. Because turn one, I don't think it was great. I was probably destroying my right front tire if I do that all race. But coming off turn four, I know I was loose and sideways there. Trying to get down to the bottom to get that straight shot. It just kicks out on you. So easy to uh, lose it there and just go all the way around. But there's no cautions. We got 50 laps and uh, hopefully we could have a pretty good race. Alright, we stayed in fifth. I'm happy with that. The uh, the six car who's very fast there in practice hit the wall coming off four, so both his laps didn't count. That really sucks for him, but he seems he's pretty quick. He's starting back in eleventh though. We'll see how far he gets up through the field. But gonna have the best race we can. Hopefully we could finish top five. I'd be happy with that. And no cautions. Like if you watched last week's race at Concord, uh, there was a huge pile up on the front stretch and second and third got caught up in it. But one of them got a lot of damage. The other didn't. So I ended up still finishing third in that race. I think I got up the second from that wreck, but got passed by one of the other guys that I got by from the wreck. Like they just got, they just got slowed up a little bit by second and the second like went climbing on the wall and got a bunch of damage. So no cautions can be brutal sometimes, but we'll see how this goes. Hopefully we can have a nice clean race. 50 laps is kind of a long time, but we're running what? 19, 20 second laps. So it shouldn't take too long, honestly. These races go by pretty quick. But if you've raced here this week, let me know how it's gone. Hopefully you guys have had some pretty good races. Seems like Caden is going to run away with it up front. He is very quick. He ran a zero in practice and then a 185 in qualifying. Seems like he was like letting off some not going as hard as possible. Just to get pole. But let's get rolling here and see how we do. Starting in fifth. I'm happy we're on the bottom at least. That is one positive I think. And we'll see how we do. Hopefully we don't get loose going into one of these early corners and just spin ourselves out and take out some other guys. 15, I ain't going to hold you up, buddy. You're a whole lot faster than I am. You go ahead on the start. Not sure where the 13 is starting now. I don't know. I might hold you up, brother. <laughs> I doubt that, pal. They're going to be fighting for last on who's slower. <laughs> That's funny. Can anyone hear me? No. Yes, sir. I hear you. I can't hear anyone else. Rip. That sucks. He might have like his playback sound in the wrong spot. Like his headphones or whatever. He might not have them checked or they might have gotten like disconnected somehow. And then he plugged them back in and it's off on the soundboard. Like in the options. All right, let's see how we can do. Might be kind of hectic in front of us because second through fourth were very close on times. I had a decent amount of time over the guys behind me, so hopefully I can hold right around fifth and just have a nice gap. And maybe the guys in front of me will get together. I have a map, pace guards off. 
Think he missed the shift. Definitely think he missed the shift or something because he was very slow on the start. Clear high. That's okay. Move on with it. And just see if we could try to save tires somewhat. Try to not get loose early on. The five car started in sixth, so we'll see if he could hold it up there or we're going to get by him. I'm not sure. He just had a really good start compared to the 14 and got in front of us. But I do just want to like run the bottom, try to be smooth without killing our tires. Without getting too sideways early or killing the right front. Because later on, people might start falling off, which is my goal is to happen. Since there's no cautions in this race, just take it easy. We still ran a 340, which is faster than we did in qualifying. That's crazy. Still wouldn't have moved up in these positions until we got in the twos. But if we can just be consistent, I'll be happy about that. I'll keep on that. Just riding behind 14 car right here. We don't have more speed than them right now, by any means. Five car is getting loose, it looks like. Of Tom. We're behind Adam. We got a Kyle right behind us. Good run off of turn two. We couldn't really do anything with it. Getting pressured by Kyle a little bit behind us. Trying not to let him get to our inside or anything. They're battling for first up there. Caden's still in the lead. But he's holding them off on the high side for now, it looks like. Maybe trying to get the guy to burn up his tires. Because if you could hold that higher, higher lane, it might kill the guy running the low side's tires, honestly. Todd is in ninth now, so he's already gained a couple spots, but he's a little bit back there. That was a bad three and four. Felt like I was going to get loose getting on throttle, so I just waited. I feel like this is one of the tracks you need to be like, let off early in to get a good exit off the corner. Just to be smooth and not overdrive it and slide up the corners. Only problem with that is hope you, hoping you don't get run over. Ooh, I think Kyle got hit from behind because he took a straight right in that corner. I think Oliver might have gotten into the back of him going in there. Nothing was said on the radio, though, so I'm not 100% sure. Because either Oliver got into him or Kyle just shot it in a little bit too hard and Oliver's sideways behind us. I see him in the mirror. <laughs> I see him sideways in the mirror. That's what I'm trying to avoid, especially this early in the race. We're already lap 11 going on to 12. Sticking right with this 14, but he's falling off of Tom up there. So I'd like to be able to get around him soon. Third place is catching up to the top two now that they've been battling. I think the four car finally got by Caden, honestly, Walker. He got by him. Which I'm shocked by with how fast Caden was in practice and qualifying. Might have pushed it a little bit hard there off turn two. Have a good gap behind us, which I'm happy with. Todd might be getting held up by Kyle, so don't think we need to worry about that. Just need to pay attention out my windshield. Hit my marks, try to catch back up to Adam here. Don't hit the apron down there because it will shoot you straight back up the track. And if you hit the apron in turn one, all it is is grass and they'll get you loose. Third place got loose going into turn one. He walked it up the track a little bit. He's getting dove on by Tom now. He had a lot of speed coming off turn two compared to uh, Ryan there. Ryan got in the wall a little bit. 
people are starting to battle each other a little bit more now might have figured out one and two right there a little bit like getting in that low and really hooking it come on up troy i'll stay high Ooh, that was a good three and four as well i'm just riding around 19.635 clear high no, trying not to get up into adam clear. there i had a bad entrance i had a good exit of turn four and he gave us the bottom at least but had a really bad entrance he had a bad three and four might be able to get back to under him not quite tom's all the way at the third though he must have messed up qualifying some outside. yeah that was a really good one and two i like that Still outside. gotta really Still keep outside. it right around the bottom here try not to creep up on him too high I just need to get it hooked right along the bottom there and then go. Clear him there. I really like my one and two now. If I can get it hooked right along that bottom. Oop, got a little loose going in. But that got us up to fifth, which is great. Now we have to worry about hopefully not getting ran over going into a corner because I do kind of back up the corner some. And if you don't hit the very bottom of one and two very well, it'll shoot you straight back up the track. But hopefully we can start walking away from Adam some. Might have burned up the right front a little bit that corner. Yeah, getting that real low exit off turn two is very vital, it, it seems like. Definitely pushing it too hard off turn four and just pushing up the track, which is not what I need. Trying to miss that grass. I've clipped it twice, but luckily it hasn't gotten me super loose yet. I'm waiting for the time it does. There we go. That's a better three and four. I feel like better on my tires, at least. 19.7. Try to pay attention to my lap time some to see if what I'm doing is working or not. But I like miss a corner a little bit. Tom is pulling off from Ryan now. He's doing very well. I'm pulling off from Adam slightly behind. Not by much, but just a little bit by little bit. Maybe he'll start battling with the guys behind him. Just trying to keep the uh, tires from too, getting too worn out, really. So if we really need to push hard, we have something. Halfway through the race now, though. Not doing too bad. We're back in fifth where we started at. Tom had a great start. The 14 just held us up in the beginning. I want to know if he missed the shift or not, though. I want to go back in to the replay and go in car to hear his, like, shifting. Because I really feel like he just missed the shift. Which is fine. I didn't run him over anything, at least. Walker's still in the lead. Yeah, he still has a 2 tenth lead over Caden. Adam missed the corner somewhat behind us. I think he overdrove it a little bit. So I made some payback. Oh, it ain't over. Oh, yikes. Oliver and Todd getting into it. Remember, that was the eight, not the six. <laughs> okay, never mind. Oh, oh, don't worry. I know who it was. I guess it was Kyle and Oliver. Because Oliver was in seventh, I thought. Now he's back behind Todd, who's in eighth. Oh, I missed the bottom there a little bit. Able to get back down for the exit. I'm getting good straightaway speed, which I'm really happy with, but my cornering speed, I feel like, is slow. I feel like my exit speed's pretty Sorry, good. It's one. just my cornering speed is slow. Got to 
Do have some lap cars coming up. Oh, it's a seven car of Oliver. He may be uh, looking for the uh, eight car. So if you pay attention in the mirror, you might see something here in a minute. I think he's going to screw us up a little bit. No, not quite. He's going quick enough, but the straightaways, he's going real slow. But he's really going to screw up our three and four pretty bad. Wish he would just run high on the track, but it is what it is. Clear him. All right, watch the fireworks behind me. Oh, yep, he just turned up in front of the uh, eight car and checked him completely up. And I think he's going to try to hook him or something. Got another lap car in front. Oh, yeah, he's slowing uh, Kyle and Todd down a whole bunch behind us. Don't know how much he slowed down Adam or if Adam's just slowing up in general. And there goes Kyle. He got pushed up into the wall. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a little bit of uh, protesting going on this race. Tom and Ryan in front of us are getting close. Ryan's catching up to Tom now. I feel like the car still rotates pretty well and stuff, so I'm happy with that. I, it's a good thing that I haven't tried to like really burn off the tires too much yet. At least I feel like it. Because I try to save tires by like letting off early, putting as little amount of wheel into it as possible. Got loose going in. Too much brake. Getting on the throttle very slowly so I don't get kicked out too hard. Ooh, Ryan's sl sliding sideways. We're pulling away from Adam now, so that's good. So I should have fifth in the bag. Now it's just all, all the matter of fact if we can make up anything else. see if we can catch Ryan at all. He's two seconds ahead of us, though. Don't know if that's going to happen. Yeah, we're just pulling away now. We're, we're a second over Adam now, which is great. We're like two seconds ahead of Todd, so he shouldn't catch us, I don't think. Unless I, like, smack the wall really hard and mess up our steering. I think that's the only thing that could really mess us up at this point. Try to push it a little bit harder, see if we could try to catch Ryan. Going in too high into turn one there. Glenn here is not doing terrible. It just looks like he's been in a wreck. Not sure where he started at. Turn four is so wide off the corner, but it's really easy to still smack that wall if you go too hard. 10 laps to go. Yeah, I'd have to catch Ryan by like two tenths a second at this point. Or I'd need him to go sliding again. No, he's actually pulling away again. So it looks like we got fifth lockdown, which I'm happy with. I was hoping to try to get a top five because it seemed like everybody was pretty quick here. Caden got back up front and he is six tenths out front now. Don't know how that happened. And we're like five and a half, almost six seconds back. Sorry, I hit the mic there. Oop, 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 oop. Getting loose. Let's not ruin our fifth place here. Yeah, I was like three tenths slower than Kate in that last lap. And it wasn't like a slow lap for me. It was kind of on par with most of my laps at this point. Like a 19.9. 19.8 to 19.9. So Caden's still putting in like sixes. Easily. Sixes or fives. Like, he has saved his tires and flying. Yeah, he's two more tenths ahead of Walker. Yeah, I don't I don't understand. <laughs> Some people just under uh, know how to save the car. It's crazy. Like, I probably haven't killed the car as much as some people, but I definitely haven't saved it. Thank you, Glenn. Appreciate that. But yeah, the people that can get really deep into these corners and get it to hook up and off the corner really well. I don't understand because it gets so loose on me if I can get too deep into the corner. 
But Ryan's starting to catch Tom a little bit. Five laps to go. See if he can get to his bumper, bumper and rattle his cage a little bit. Not 100% sure if he will or not. But Tom started back in sixth. He must have messed up qualifying because he's pretty quick. Oh, Ryan is sliding again. <laughs> I see him in the uh, corner up there in the smoke. So he's not going to catch Tom. If he does that a couple more times, we might be to his bumper. Even with him sliding like three or four times now this race, he's still two seconds ahead of us. I've sli I've slid slightly, but not nearly as much as him, like to where there's a lot of smoke coming out of the back of my car. You really got to be roasting the rear tires when that happens. Gonna be two, laps to go. two laps to go. We still have a zero X, which I'm happy about. Being in fifth, we are car number three out of 15, but being in fifth, I feel like we should still gain a slight bit of I rating. It might be like less than 10, but that's okay. As long as we don't lose, I'll be happy. Yeah, because the top five numbers are in the top five. One, four, five, two, three. So I feel like we should gain I rating. The 14 car is in sixth, though, so he's going to gain a good bit. So great race by Adam. He started up in third, though. And just had an awful start and fell back to fifth Good immediately. That was fun. Good win by Caden. He was absolutely flying the entire time. Won by nearly a second over Walker after giving the lead up to him pretty early. Good racing though. We'll finish fifth. We'll go watch all the incidents that happened and stuff. And see how much we destroyed our tires because I don't know how much we did or didn't uh what were our tires 74 75 so at least they were even i'm happy about that that's pretty solid and let's go back to the very beginning i want to hear his like in car because i don't know if he was just like on the wrong gear okay i think he was in he was in first gear 100 percent. that was the problem he was all, he was in first gear because he shifted three times and he was revved out, revved out, and then just didn't shift. His first and second gear he revved out in uh, for a little bit too long, and that's why he was a little bit slow there off the start. Oh, well, it happens. Good run, though. Oh, this guy has an AEW car. Nice. I never see anybody with wrestling cars. That's kind of funny. Hey, Kyle, you got, what, seven? Ten car got in the back of the 11 into the wall. I know Glenn probably had a little bit more troubles later on because the back end of his car is pretty messed up. Don't know what that incident was for. Seven back of the eight, slightly. I think that, uh, oh, it, that was lap 10. And if Kyle is getting him back for something that happened, that might be why. And then Oliver is more mad because Kyle did something to him, but Kyle did get loose in our mirror, and I saw that, but it's because of the seven car Oliver getting into Kyle there. So maybe it was payback earlier on him from Kyle. Yeah, Ryan got loose. Tom takes it inside, gets by him. Glenn, and I don't know who the number 12 is. What is going on here down the back stretch? Are they, like, they just not giving each other room? 12 car a little bit off the wall and Glenn's kind of at the white line here but it looks like his car is pointing back the other way I think that's more on the 12 for not holding the outside line just coming down getting into him and then gets into him again gets him backed into the wall and that's where his damage came from which is unfortunate and this might have been why Oliver was mad all he did was bump and run right there something else gonna happen Next corner got into him again. Okay, you got you got two licks in when he got one. You just didn't do it good enough. So at that point, you kind of have to concede it. But I think Kyle's going to get into him again and then move him all the way. So yeah, I understand why Oliver's mad now. Because Oliver got into Kyle. Kyle was mad about that. But then Kyle hits him three times until he uh, moves him out of the way, pretty much. Like, you get one or two solid shots. You didn't move him. You get... You, you're just trying to wreck him after that at that point. So I understand why Oliver's mad. And here we go with the fireworks that were behind us. He just gets in front of Kyle and nails the brakes. <laughs> and then I'm pretty sure he took him out or something. Dove it into the corner, slid up into his left rear. 
didn't wreck him which i'm shocked by i think that was all that happened with him the rest of the race because yeah he finished behind todd a few seconds and uh oliver kind of just stayed up there the rest of the race by todd glenn into the wall slightly just with the rear end even though the rear end's already bent in enough oh no he got back to him lap 41 i don't know what lap it is for kyle that actually might have been uh the end of the race no lap 42 so they're still going at it after that so good race by them too they were flying up front so good run and that's pretty much it we finished fifth with a zero x uh everybody up front pretty much with a zero x the seven and the ten had a ten and then uh a couple guys had caution or not cautions uh incidents in the back but everybody up front kept it real clean which was fun so let's go see what we end up getting out of the results finishing fifth should gain the slightest bit i think all right results in strength of field 21 21 that's satisfying two different splits i thought there might have been three i didn't remember how many people registered but uh, we finished fifth car number three gained nine i thought it would have been less than 10 so i was right i was just right on that barely and we were the first uh a class car but maybe a lot of these guys just run this a whole bunch and doesn't re and don't really try to get their uh safety up because kaden has almost 4700 i rating as car number one as a c class which is crazy so or maybe they end up in a bunch of cautions and that's why they have a high I rating and still in the C class. I don't know. Could be anything, especially the uh, seven and the eight getting together so much. But uh, the eight, but the seven was a B class, which he's getting close to losing that. And the eight is getting close to under a 2.0 for the A, which is unfortunate for them. But I'm happy with how we uh, finish everybody in the top nine gained I rating, which is nice. Towards the back, they lost a bunch. Uh, Derek in the nine lost a whole bunch not racing. Other than that, everybody was still running. Nobody really wrecked out either, which is uh, solid. Only a lap down for the uh, last two guys. So pretty good racing overall. Caden just saved his tires, it seems like, and was able to run really good average times there towards the end. I was a few tenths off of them the last few laps, which is crazy. I just destroyed my tires, I guess, compared to them. They were probably in like the 80s on their right sides compared to my 74, 75. So I'll take it. We gained a little bit of eye rating. Good racing overall, so... Appreciate you guys for watching as always. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the racing and I'll catch you guys in the next one.